Hello, and welcome to 8020's product highlight series. Today, we're going to take a look at the structural pivots. This connection method allows bars to be positioned along a wide variety of angles. They're easy to install and are available in both fractional, metric, and are compatible across a wide range of profile series. Now, when it comes to using the structural pivot, you have a few options to choose from. The first choice is how you receive your part. The structural pivot can be purchased as standalone parts or as a pre-assembled part ready to install as seen here. Now, the next thing you want to consider is the alignment of the pivot nub and how it sits on the profile. The nub comes in two styles. You have the 90 degree and you have the zero degree with the only difference being the orientation to the bar. Now, regardless of your choices, the pivot nub will need additional bolt assemblies for mounting. More information on 8020's recommended bolt assemblies can be found in the 8020 product catalog. Now, when it comes to installing the structural pivot, the first thing you want to do is preload your hardware. Preloading not only makes it easier to install your structural pivot, but also saves time during assembly. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is take the structural pivot and put one last bolt and one last T-nut into it. It's important to know when you're installing your T-nuts to have the pilot projection facing downwards. Once we have that ready to go, we'll take our first bar and slide the pivot nub right onto it. Once we've found our location, we'll take a wrench and tighten that into place. From there, we're ready for our next bar. We'll slide it right onto the arms of the structural pivot. We'll take our wrench and tighten down that hardware. Now the last thing we want to do is find the angle that we want our bar at. Once we've found that, we'll tighten down the pivot bolts. 